Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be playing Helga on Ragnarok but we are not going to be using her cards. We are going to be using the Tarak deck as well as the bird. Now obviously you will see we're going to start off with the Tarak deck so it's going to be a very slow start but we will guarantee 99 gold before the first shop. So quick tree we've got max XP, uh, 3 attraction, Max now starts with five gold for the first altar. We don't need more. We will be getting 99 gold. We got two max hearts from overhealing, which is fantastic on Helga for her passive. And then we've got poison damage, burn damage, and then limit breaking as well, as well as the cooldown and damage. So this is the tree. You can have a look at everything I've got uh, if you want to pause and just take a look. But otherwise, let's get straight into playing with Helga with the Tarek deck on Ragnarok 5. So the best thing about Limit Break on the Tarek deck is that it causes you to get every single option possible. So as you can see, we get damage, cooldown, effective probability, doesn't matter, you get all of them. So we don't even need to worry about that too much, we just gotta spam. And as you can see, we're already getting gold from the tree, I mean from the, the crates. So first ascension, we take the double card. Uh, just so that we have the clear speed because normally one card doesn't necessarily kill everything So at least with the double card it is a guaranteed kill on all the trash mobs uh, Obviously the higher your damage the better, but we kind of got it just to go with what we get uh, We don't have too much time to waste on re-rolling to try and get the damage in this case that one re-roll was perfect uh, We will be waiting for the three there we go. We do want to spend it and we gotta keep going. All right, so now we are just looking for XP. We need as much XP as possible so that we can get this ascended as quickly as possible so we can kill as quickly as possible. Again, the five gold start is only for the very first altar. It's just to make sure that we have enough gold for that altar. You don't necessarily need it. As you can see, we already picked up enough gold to be able to afford it, so you don't need the 10 gold but it is really nice to have so we've already got two really nice relics and we've already killed one of the elites very very quickly now obviously the more health you have as helga the more damage you're going to be doing because her passive works off that way i didn't check this week's passive it could have been something different it could have been cooldown uh, but or attack speed. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is attack speed this week So it doesn't really help us for what we're going for, but it's still going to work nonetheless Obviously if you do this next week or the week after you'll probably have a better time because you'll have cooldown or damage in her passives Where here we've only got attack speed and area anyway enough of that we have our damage over there and then we got damage and effective probability that's perfect that's gonna work very well and then we go draw two and as you can see now we're dealing double the damage because obviously we're going to be shooting things twice instead of once so there we go dead and dead i would like to get this for when we do the paralysis but we don't need to do it and we can grab this, it will give us a plus three to damage, which is fantastic anyway. We don't need the effect of probability. We don't need uh, a lot of other things on it. All we need is the damage for now because everything else is going to just work fine. So dealing quite a lot of damage when we get the sword, it's about 200, which is a decent chunk of damage. Uh, very good for the elites. But obviously this is going to be a lot slower than your your usual gameplay because we are there is that downtime for when you have uh, switching between the cards as well as the cards reloading if you want to call it that. So you do have to just be wary of your surroundings and not walk into rocks like I did. And you kind of just got to stay close to the lead somewhat because you are going to have to make sure that you are hitting them. But at least everything else around you kind of just does. Alright, I never even checked the modifiers. These, these guys have shared pain, which is irritating. It's not 
the hardest thing because it doesn't really make them super strong it just means that we can't hurt them as much as we want to but one's dead at least so we are on to the second one we should get another damage roll over here so we got ourselves movement speed which is just as good and we want to just run around collecting potions and gold not really too worried about the elite although it's gonna come back and bite us in the butt now because we are going to land up farting more than him in a row so come on you need to die sometime soon i think what we need to do is just grab ourselves some of this we're gonna grab ourselves the double heart container over here Grab the XP and then we're going to start working on our ultimate. Although even before our ultimate we might land up working on the birds. Because the birds obviously deal a lot of damage as well. So we might go for the bird first before we start working on our ultimate. And that's just so that we have the damage to kind of clear these elites. Because as you can see we're just not clearing them. We did clear one elite there, so that's really, really good. And we did get ourselves a magnet, which is fantastic as well. I think what we do want to kind of focus on right now is not getting hit, one. And two, all this gold that's dropping everywhere. Look at this, 25 gold just sitting there. So that was huge. And we are running faster than the elites, but obviously they do move. So I'm going to be careful. Uh, this is quite a risky build, obviously. We do have that um, risk factor coming in because, as you can see, you do get overwhelmed quite easily by everything. But once we get our bird up and running, everything will be a lot easier. So I do want the gold, though. I'm being very selfish in some sense. But let's start going bird. Bird's got to be looking for damage and projectiles. Damage, projectiles, penetration is your focus. And the ultimate's going to make everything else uh, pretty good. So, you know, get the bird here hitting the elite. It is going to help kill him while our tarot cards wreck everything else. Right, but as you can see he doesn't take that much damage because he does have shared pain but all the elites are dead and we did get that the electric there we do need to grab gold fantastic we nearly are 99 gold grab the healing grab that we've got plenty of xp to work with as well because we do have the uh, magnet as well so we don't really have to worry too much about xp we do have our gold over here, so that's going to be the end of it. 99 gold done and dusted, so now we can grab the stick and we can just kind of stay still and focus on grabbing XP now. Alright, so we need to reroll this for damage. Perfect. Again, damage. Perfect. Again, damage. Perfect. And obviously, the more projectiles, it's actually going to be a bit better for us. But not right now, it's going to be for a bit later on once we have ascended the bird. But we do double ascend the tarot cards first. So we just want the bird for the extra damage on the elites. As you can see, we do have quite a big tree over here that we need to deal with right now. Just got to bring the bird closer to him so it can focus on him. And we just need to kind of dodge everything and not get hit by them. So... It's all good. It should die. There we go. Dead. There are more elites all over the place. But again, we just got to focus on them. And they do die. As you can see, there is XP all over the place. At least their area of effect doesn't get increased like their size does. Otherwise, that would be quite concerning. But luckily, we are killing everything before the boss itself even shows up and there is a lot of xp to be had so fantastic we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up i mean we're gonna use our xp now and then we're gonna pick up this gold ring and not use it and we can now focus on leveling up our ace over here make sure we get the damage that's fantastic 
and we should really get uh, more XP now to kind of deal with this boss. As you can see, we are dealing quite a lot of damage because of our bird, which is fantastic. And then we will start to uh, look at getting the levels up on our ultimate, which we can actually use to, well, we can use the ultimate now to get a double buff over there going. So fantastic. That was great. We had the 99 gold. Uh, now we've got a choice because we've picked up a mirror over here. So I'm going to take the mirror because what it does is give us 178 gold to work with. So we've got the mirror, we've got the mushroom, we're going to grab the burn. We don't need other things. Grab that. Gnocchi's good. Uh, Manny's bow is going to be good because of the damage it deals. Uh, more laugh. An attraction orb. We can even grab more money. No, we can't yet. Unfortunately, we can now. We're going to grab the mushroom, the shield, more laugh. This is going to be a fantastic run. We are spending a bit of time here, but it's okay. Grab the poison because we are going to poison things. Fire to poison. Even more burn damage. This is a fantastic shop going on right now. But it does have to come to an end, unfortunately. We have run out of money, but that's okay. It worked out extremely well. We got a decent chunk of life, a decent chunk of items. And now we double ascend the book to the expanded deck. And we can just run around. So we'll see now we are going to have like death, which kills absolutely everything. We did get an attraction fossil, so you know, we kind of, oh gosh, I didn't even see something there. So one of the things I am going to try and figure out, and I should be able to give you guys an answer in the comment section, is what exactly the boost does for Helga. Uh, I have to speak to the devs, uh, they've been uh, away on the weekends, obviously they need their space. So we don't bug them then, but I need to find out what exactly it is that boost does for Helga. What does it boost for her? So we will take that a look at that and speak to the devs and give you guys an answer in the comment section, obviously, because at the time of recording this, I do not actually know what boost does for Helga, but I will know by the time it is posted. So just check the comment section. You will be able to see what it is that boost does and we can go from there all right we'll use that i still want the gold coin it's just to help you know we can actually use it now we picked up like what 30 gold because there is a magnet over here which is nice to have ragnar shield nice to grab as well because we get to block that one damage that we never thought would hit us that does and as you can see we've been pretty lucky with the cards we're not really pulling too many cures or anything like that uh, the worst combo of cards to get is to pull something like Cure and then Boost because then there's zero damage done from them. But we do have our bird to give us a lot of damage so we don't really have to worry too much about what card is pulled anyway. We also have Manny's bow dealing damage so there's that as well. Alright, pop the ulti again, we can now uh, get the ulti to level 3, and then we can, I mean we've got options here, we can either work on grabbing ourselves the Manny's Bow right away, or we can work on focusing on our uh, experience and attraction levels first, so, you know, there's there's lots of options over here. We could even level up our Book of Stars and go from there, but we are looking at uh, probably doing our XP and attraction just to help us out because we still got more waves coming, so lots more XP still to be had. Grab this puppet because we're actually going to be burning so much as you can see. Grab as much HP as possible, poison some stuff and i mean we just destroy a chest like there's no tomorrow so i don't know with the the possible nerfs coming again to telcor once we are in a better place with balancing and figuring out things uh, especially on ragnarok 5 with telcor 
and the uh, efficiency nerf that he got on his ascendancy, which is still there. Helga might be there again for our gold farming or just ridiculous builds because as you can see from this video we just get ridiculous amounts of gold and as you can see she does deal a lot of damage. Uh, look long term the cards don't actually deal a lot of DPS per se but they do actually because I think the way that DPS calculations work is it only calculates the DPS if you get the sword. It doesn't calculate the DPS of the actual cards themselves, or I don't actually know how it works. Um, I'm just assuming that because its DPS is always quite low. But as you saw there, we hit so many enemies. How can the DPS be that low? It doesn't make sense. So I'm not sure how the DPS is calculated for the actual cards, but uh, you'll always see it doesn't say that it deals a lot of DPS, but you are dealing quite a lot of damage anyway. So don't let that DPS counter uh, fool you too much. Alright, unfortunately the instant death card doesn't work on our elites, which is super unfortunate. We are back on 99 gold and we have 17 skill points, which means we can actually go up to full XP and we don't need the attraction but I am going to be putting points into it just because it makes it so we can move even less uh, we can actually pop that and we don't have to move at all there are chests there um, I'm trying to get a decent time so I'm not going to pick them up I don't necessarily need them uh, we'll probably land up getting stuff for the bird which we don't necessarily need right now so it's okay anyway we just want to focus on the elites which both died and now the big elite is going to die very soon as well there we go dead done and dusted and we don't even yeah we, we're in a fantastic spot as you can see we do need to get a slightly bit stronger because the next wave is obviously more difficult but uh, for now it's okay and we used oh there was actually a double one there okay cool all right so let's go attraction uh what else could we go we can go area of effects gonna work very well on our friend over there some duration should work well with our manny's bow and we can grab some attack speed as well for our birdie and then projectile speed as well we'll cap and then we'll start working on manny's bow as well as the book of stars so we should be like fully capped by the end of this we have ourselves a huge uh, tyrant which is actually a problem because it makes it harder to dodge him but because we do have movement speed as a bonus from our ulti we should be able to dodge his uh call or you know his just got to keep moving there we go we dodged it moved to the side here again dodged it again so you know you got to keep just moving to the side don't get too close to him and perfectly done oops we walked into his thing at the end there but that's okay we're gonna grab that we didn't oh we did pick up months now in gold what did we use gold for that's very weird all right so we're going to ascend ace it's going to be for feather burst so that's done that's fantastic we have seven points to put here that puts that to its ulti to its done state what else can we grab over here flint for even more burning damage perfect we can grab damage what's it gonna minus it's gonna minus effect of probability that's perfect we get the immunity destroyer if you could find a more perfect run than this please uh, you know let me know because i don't think you can and we get one more of the small relics it's going to be for food because that's going to obviously make us even stronger so fantastic we got quite a lot of area of effect we've got quite a lot of damage coming out and a little bit of lag there from the poison slash burning that we do so everything around us can die. As you can see now, Feather Burst is just going all over the place. It is so satisfying to see it happen. <laughs> Damn! And now we don't really have to worry about the gold. We do have 
everything that we can buy. Everything else will be from ruins. Uh, we can get gold for our shrines. There is the infernal pendant over here, so we do actually want that because of obviously burning things. So we will collect gold for it. Here it is. That should be enough. So let's go grab it. And as you can see, our ulti does actually last for quite a long time. Infernal Pendant will actually make our game lag a little bit just because of the amount of area of effect that we have. But as you can see, we are in a fantastic spot with her and we weren't even using cards. So really, really cool, really, really nice. And it's just fantastic. Ooh, a burn to freeze and freeze to burn. We can grab that as well. That's going to be another 15 gold. So already, that's why, you know, we, we're spending so much gold here. We haven't even had time to pick up anything gold-wise. We just picked up 20 gold. We used it. We just picked up 15 gold and now we're going to use it. So really good uh, relics coming in for the gold over here and because we we got so much gold and we're just able to kind of walk around with this build uh, <laughs> we don't really have to worry about anything it's just it's really nice to be able to play the game where you're trying to do this hard difficulty and you are able to just kind of walk around and not worry about too much happening so Yes, there's a little bit of slight FPS drop every now and then, but it is kind of expected um, because of just uh, the current optimization, which I'm sure the devs are currently working on as well. So, you know, just be patient. You can lower the uh, special effects that will help with it. I'm not going to do it because, well, I don't mind a little bit of lag. It's not going to kill me. But I do know it will be worked on as well. Alright, we did find a magnet. It is over there in the corner. And obviously, I think we have quite a lot of uh, area of effect because of our ulti. So we have 120%, 100% attack speed. We actually don't even have a lot of damage. Oh, that is terrible. But we have projectile speed, attack speed, some effective probability, and 10 movement speed. So we actually got like drew like such a bad straw uh, with regards to our passive uh, ulti stacking. Uh, don't know what like the right wording for that would be called. But for our ulti stacking, we actually got probably the worst setup going. Uh, even damage would have been, I mean, damage would have been what we were looking for. Damage area is good. I mean attack speed is pretty decent, but cooldown would have been good as well Which I don't believe I saw there So, you know, there were, were a couple of things that could have been better But unfortunately it is what it is. It's all RNG and we just didn't get good RNG for it Alright, so we're on 40 skill points we can put some damage into Manny's bow over here. It would be nice if it just let me roll damage. Come on. Even though that was a legendary, I don't want it. And then we're just going to spam our Book of Stars here. We don't really care about anything. We just wanted to max out the tree because why not? <laughs> why not max out the tree if you can? I mean, who can say? they can max out the tree with Helga using Tarot deck. So, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I forgot to grab my stuff. So now, just to make things even better for ourselves, we're gonna grab all of these ruins because we don't have greed, we don't have the money, we've got time. You guys are enjoying this video, so why not just make this ridiculously specced uh, animal? Uh, <laughs> look at our bird, our big ears. <laughs> oh, this is funny. All right, and that's it. So fantastic. Unfortunately, I pushed R instead of E, so our ulti is up. So that is unfortunate. And there we go. Maxed tree versus Astrid. Let's see how quickly we can kill her. Probably not that fast. 
but a decent time anyway because uh, I would say because of Manny's bow and we actually have the healing part of it as well so we do have to be careful there that she can heal but I don't think it's really much of an issue over here thank goodness she used her shrine attack as opposed to anything else because that actually does help us to survive more we don't have to worry about anything if she doesn't use that attack and it doesn't look like she's going to get the chance to so there you go 524 leaves as well uh, seeds sorry and we actually beat our time we would have got to like a 23 something if i never spent so much on ruins or in the shops but you know it's really fun to play it this way again tarot deck doing 2.3k dps which is actually really decent you probably could get more if you rolled for the damage over let's say cooldown or effective probability but really really fantastic obviously ace being the champion here with 4k dps but guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you saw that you can use Tarek deck uh, with helga on ragnarok i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember keep safe survivors until next time cheers